let's play out this scenario in our heads. You're really good at Instagram stories and you want to be better at YouTube. And you're like, I wonder if I can put these really valuable Instagram stories onto my YouTube channel. Well, normally I would say no, but today I have a special guest on the channel. Her name is Meredith from VidPro Mom, and she is gonna teach you how to repurpose those Instagram stories for YouTube so that they actually perform well, because you can't just plop them from Instagram stories and put them on your channel. It's not how this works. So let's just get into it and let Meredith tell you all about it. Hey Jess, thanks so much for having me on your channel today. We are gonna be talking about how to edit and repurpose your Instagram stories for YouTube. So my name is Meredith and I'm the blogger and YouTuber behind VidProMom where I help people figure out video stuff and video editing is one of those things I help other bloggers and creators and online business folks do. We're gonna be talking about video editing and if video editing is not your jam, if you are one of the other millions of people online who feel overwhelmed with the whole video editing part, of video stuff, then stick with me. I'm gonna try to keep it pretty simple for you. So who doesn't love Instagram stories, right? You're probably on Instagram. You probably do Instagram stories yourself. You probably watch lots of other people's Instagram stories. I know I do. Uh, and it's really fun. It's like micro vlogging kind of. And the thing is, it's so easy. The downside, of course, is that they're only available for 24 hours unless you add them to your highlights. And even then you only have a limited number of highlights. There's no rule saying that you can't repurpose your Instagram stories and put them on another platform like YouTube. So if you are one that likes to create really value-packed Instagram stories and you don't want that stuff to just go away after 24 hours, you could upload them to your YouTube channel, but there are a few things you might want to do to those stories first because chances are they are recorded vertically and not horizontally. And I'm pretty sure Jessica has covered this at some point, but horizontal is the way to go for YouTube. So today I'm gonna to show you three simple ways that you can edit your Instagram stories for YouTube so that they're clean and polished and pretty and just ready to rock and roll on YouTube. So let's hop onto my computer. Okay, so obviously one of the first things we need to do here is actually download our story. So this is my story, mm -hmm. I just recorded this. So if you just come down here on the bottom right to more and hit save, we're gonna save this whole story. And what's actually doing here is taking each of those little clips and putting them together into one video clip that we can airdrop to our computer if you don't have AirDrop, you could use Dropbox or Google Drive or something like that. So over here in my photos, we see that I have these stories here all as one video clip. So that makes it super easy to use in our video. So I have uh, Premiere Pro open here on my Mac. If you don't use Premiere Pro, don't freak out. You don't have to. You can use any video editing platform that has the ability to give you multiple tracks so that you can have kind of a layered thing going on. I'll show you in just a second. So you can use iMovie, you could use Filmora, Premiere Elements, anything like that should work fine for you. I just use Premiere Pro to edit my YouTube videos. So that's what I'm gonna use today. So I already imported my actual Instagram story file. I'm gonna hit keep existing settings. And yeah, there we go. So this is what I downloaded from Instagram. We can obviously see the problem here. We have these black bars on either side because for our YouTube videos, we want that 16 to nine ratio, not this vertical. My videos are 1080p, so this is 1920 by 1080 and this is obviously not working. So uh, because we have multiple tracks here though, I'm actually gonna move my video part up and then I'm going to, um, let's see. So I created this background image. Let me just show it to you. Um, you can actually download this too. I created it for myself. Um, just to kind of use and have available as a background for things like an Instagram story. It's it's kind of like the colors 
you know, the colors of Instagram here, that rainbow uh, branding that they have. I basically just created this in uh, Adobe Illustrator for myself. You can download it too. I'll give Jessica the link so that she can put it down in the description below this video. I also have this TV calibration image that you can have. It serves absolutely no purpose at all for <laughs> for YouTube. I just created it so that I can kind of use it as a as a blooper beep because every once in a while I like to include bloopers in my videos. So you can download that too. And you could totally leave it like this uh, or you could create your own image in something like Canva, which is totally free. You could brand it so you have your own logo on there. You could put your Instagram handle on there so that anybody that is watching this video on YouTube so they know that it came from Instagram stories and they should definitely go follow you there if they want to get your Instagram stories in real time and not wait until you edit them to put them on YouTube. So you could go that way. The other thing you can do, and this may be different depending on your software, but you could move your actual story video so that it's just placed a little differently on screen and put your branding stuff over here if you want. So feel free to use my colored background uh, for this if you want to. You don't have to give credit to me or anything. It's not that big of a deal. Or like I said, you can create your own in Canva. Now, the second thing you could do is let's say you have a really great Instagram feed where you have actual still photos and you do more than just Instagram stories. Um, let's say you have a great photo that, you know, maybe it actually kind of goes along with uh, whatever your Instagram story is about. Now, in this example, mine does not go along with what my Instagram story is about, but we're just going to use this as an example. So let's say you have a great still image. Um, I'm just going to bump this up a little bit. You could use that still image as your background. And if it goes along with whatever your story is about, then that actually makes a lot of sense, right? So in this case, I could move this over. I could even do some editing to this one still um, image to, let's see, I need to make this a little bit smaller here. We could maybe do a little bit of blurring on the background like this. We're going to add the blur effect and then just bring up the blurriness a little bit um, so that you just have kind of something in the background. I mean, it really is going to depend on on your still image, right? If, uh, if it's something that you want to be completely visible and you want it to really be part of your video, then you might even want to just you know, move yourself completely to the side and have a still image there if it goes along with your story. You could use multiple images and have kind of a slideshow thing happening in, in the background of your Instagram story and just go along with your still images uh, like that. So um, that's another thing you can do if you happen to have a still photo that goes along with, with what you're talking about, right? So that you can kind of fill that space in the background. Now, the third thing you can do, and I feel like this is kind of a last resort. I just copied my uh, Instagram story clip over here. I, I feel like this is a little bit of a last resort. I'm gonna put this back in the middle here. So let's say you have you have your video, it's right in the middle, you've got those ugly black bars and you don't want them there. I'm going to hit Command L and separate my audio from my visual here. So I have these two separate things and I'm gonna hold down my option button to just make a copy of the visual part. I'm just gonna actually put it one right on top of the other so you can't really tell, but there are two video tracks. They're identical and they're completely lined up perfectly with each other and with the audio. So here's what you can do. And you might actually have seen this before, especially on the especially on the news. They do this a lot on the news when they have video footage sent in from a viewer that they took on their phone, but it's maybe it's super low resolution for for television or maybe they shot a vertical video like for Instagram stories. And this is what they do. So we have our two layers. We don't want to do anything with this middle layer right now. I have the bottom layer selected and I'm going to come up here to scale and I'm just going to blow it up like this. Gosh, that is looking so terrible. And then from here, we could do a couple of things. We could actually blur it out. So I'm going to drag this blur effect down to that bottom clip and then come back to effect controls and bring up 
the blurriness, right? And so if you do this, then as you play your video, um, the they're both in sync with each other, right? So you have the background one and it's blurred out in, so that it's hopefully not distracting. And then the main the main video that people should be focusing on is the one that's on top that's more visible. So you could also do something like, uh, let's see, you could bring the opacity down or something on that one so it's a little bit darker, but it's still filling the space and it's still, you know, it's still connected and in sync with that top video that you that you would want to focus on. So the reason why I kind of say that might be a last resort is because there's just other ways to make things pretty and especially if you do this where you create your own background image and you have it branded and everything to yourself you have an opportunity there to you know get get your Instagram handle out there get your branding out there and really kind of make it your own especially if you create your own image within Canva so there you have it. The next time you're on an Instagram story streak, you may wanna kinda of think about how you're gonna be able to repurpose that Instagram story for YouTube. Because let's be honest, creating Instagram stories is actually a lot easier than creating a YouTube video. So if you're already rocking and rolling on Instagram, all you have to do is make your Instagram stories a little bit prettier and a little more polished for YouTube, and you'll be rocking on YouTube as well. So once again, my name is Meredith, and I help people figure out video stuff over on the VidProMom YouTube channel. So if that sounds like a party you wanna join, then you can head over there and join me. Thanks again for having me, Jessica. Was that not super duper fun? Yes, I know it was. So do me a quick favor. First, I want to make sure you hit subscribe to my channel. I don't want you to miss any other tips that I bring you or any other guest experts that I bring you on this channel. But second, I want you to go check out Meredith and check out VidPro Mom and give her a good old thumbs up and subscribe as well. And until next time, I will see y'all later.